How you doing, everybody? Hope everybody's doing great. Got a little EDC video for you today. Just gonna need some materials to do it. Now, I made this other one. Is this like a prototype, I guess you would say? Is this thrown together with whatever I could find? Now, I've seen this on Pinterest as well as on TikTok. So, I will tell you in a second what it's all about and what it is. But, before we get into all that, you know the drill, peoples. You gotta hit that thumbs up over here. Don't hit it twice, because then it'll undo it. Just hit it once. And you got the thumbs up. It lets people know the video is good and that you should watch this. And YouTube appreciates it. And puts the radio out to more people. Then you come over here, hit the subscribe. Because you want to see all these EDC wonderful videos. And this is a little bit different than what we do. I'm going to do like an on-camera, I guess, project type of thing. Now, I don't know the exact name. I've seen it called different names. I'm just calling it a fidget spinner. So what you do is I'm going to take off my fit band because I'm doing it behind the camera. I don't want to crack it. <laughs> so you can spin it like this in between your fingers. And you could do it back and forth. You can use your thumb. It's not too good as you can see because... I am doing it from behind the camera as well as with the table right under me. So you just spin it around one finger, two fingers, you use the other finger to switch it around. You can use the thumb, you can do it like that down to the other fingers and let it rotate through your different fingers and thumbs and the whole nine. You can just do it like that. I'm not going to put my Fit Band back on because we're going to be making one in a second because this, like I said, was just a prototype. Is this some bolts I had laying around? And I decided to do so or to do it. Now, it said a certain length and both videos had a different length. I just went by what I felt was comfortable because I'm a bigger, taller dude. So... It's a little more comfortable to have a longer one, so it is this long. Now, I did cut a piece of paracord. Yes, it is extremely longer than this piece because I want to make sure we have some room to wiggle with, I guess you would say. And, of course, I have my... Where did it go? Where did my Victoria Knox go? Hold on a second. There it is. I knew I just took it out to cut the rope, the paracord. Got the Victoria Knox here to lend a hand if need to. I just went to Ace the other day. They had those drawers over there where you could just buy any piece of bolts, screws, or whatever. I bought some really big bolts. They had shinier ones and dull ones. I just think the dull one looks a little bit cooler. And it's kind of like, you know, got a little marks and dents and dings in it and that's what i wanted it to look like and i got some wooden beads not at ace i had these laying around so i figured it'd be cool to kind of do a little something like that i thought it'd be really cool so you just take it and i think i'm gonna do it with the bead to the outside instead of the inside but I'm going to have to put a little bit of a knot on the inside so it doesn't, you know, go folding over my leg. I'm di on, on my leg, on my arm. I just want to burn the end so it's easier to get it through the bead. In theory, it is easier to get it over the bead. Or through the bead, I guess. And that's not working out too well. But like I said, we got a longer piece of paracord. So in case we have mistakes or whatever, we're good to go. So let me just trim that a little bit. And burn it a little bit better on the end. So it's a tad bit easier to do so. Now I've been bringing this with me where I go, you know, work and the whole nine and everything. And it does... Let you preoccupy yourself, and it's quite enjoyable. And it's a little, you know, if you get upset, nervous, or anything, you got a little something to play around with to take your mind off things 
and to soothe things out. So I'll just trying to burn the ends off there. Like I said, the bolt's already there, so I don't have to worry about putting the bolt, putting the paracord through the bolt, but the bolt, the paracord through the actual bead. Now this may change. I may go back to this, the bolts. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, it is going to cling and clang. And that is going to be annoying, especially when you're at work trying to be quiet and you're just trying to flip it in your hand while you're on the phone or whatever. So, I think we're scratching that idea. I don't think we're going to go quite with that idea, but... Do want to see something here that will go through way easy I'm gonna to have to leave a little bit to tie it on the other ends as well or just put it on the end like yeah that's gonna be way harder that way so I'm gonna kind of do like an around type deal Back and around to hold the bolt. So as you can see, I'm doing it in and out and kind of trying to get it into the middle by wrapping it around both pieces and then tying it off and singeing the ends. To kind of seal the deal. I mean, you can make it with a lighter bolt or a smaller bolt, I guess you would say. Whatever suits your mood or your fancy, I guess you would say. I kind of like the bigger bolts. course if that's not what you like go with what you like and be careful not to heat it up too much because you're holding the bolt you don't want to burn your fingers I'm pretty sure it's gonna get hot a little something over here or do I not quite to add a little bit more so I can get a knot out of it. Tighten it and torque it a little bit. I'm pretty sure I got plenty enough cord if not, I can always redo it. Now, the other one, of course, the knot fit through it perfectly, so, and it holds itself in place, so I didn't have to do all this. So it's a learn as we go together. So singe that over there so it stays together, like so. And then you're going to move to the other side. And yeah, I still got plenty of cord. And you're going to do the same thing. Now, I'm not going to twirl this one. Because it's definitely going to need some refining, as you can see. It's not quite up to what I wanted it to be. But I wanted to give the actual, like, you know, look of what it will be like. That's pretty much. It's a little bit longer. I did want it a tad longer because the other one just didn't have the exact length I 
wanted it. I felt like it could just have been a little bit longer and it would have worked perfectly fine. So this won't be a tad bit longer. Like this video is a little bit longer than my usual because we were figuring this out on the go. Now, of course, I'm going to tweak it a little bit, tie it off a little bit better, heat the ends, and we're going to have our finished product. And like I said, I didn't use the bead. Yeah, it's exactly what I wanted, a little bit longer. So there you have it. I will swing this end, but, you know, it's going to be like that. And, ooh, this is a lot heavier, a lot easier to swing, and I don't want to hit my phone. I don't want to break my phone on my phone is my camera so I must do so keep that so we're gonna singe that a little bit and you can get something very similar to this of course that is a lot heavier and there goes my lighter but it failed on the ledge so I'm gonna be able to grab it right there in a second so there you have it a nice little fidget spinner you could put your you could kind of put like a carabiner that comes on and off make it like a key holder or whatever, but a cool little thing. I really enjoy swinging this around and playing with it. I'm going to keep the original, of course, and I will play with that one as well. But now we have the much bigger, heavier one. And I'm pretty sure you could figure out how to use that for other stuff. I don't have to explain that to you, do I? Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking this out. Hopefully you guys try making this if you like it, and hopefully you enjoy making it. So, like always, have a great, great day. Thank you, and goodbye.